And speaking to we on earlier, former bureaucrat Tilak Deveshar said that Pakistan's move is superficial and is a tactical gesture to get relief from the intense global pressure that it is currently facing. Take a listen into what he said. You see, like uh, like in the case of Hafiz Saeed, Hafiz Saeed, he had a $10 million bounty on his head, but he's roaming around freely and giving TV interviews and addressing speeches. Same thing will happen to Masood Azhar. The only difference is that it will signal a, uh, a victory for India because we have been wanting this and it has been opposed by Pakistan and by China for several years. It will be a, a sort of a moral victory, uh, you can call it that. But on the ground, until and until Pakistan army moves decisively against the Jaish terror network, you know, in terms of dismantling the infrastructure, in terms of de-weaponizing the cadres, in terms of re-educating the cadres and bringing them back into the mainstream by giving them a uh, different kind of education, nothing on the ground is actually going to change. This is just be a superficial thing. And this is exactly what Pakistan is known to do. But when the pressure gets too much, they relieve a little bit of pressure by a small tactical gesture. Right. You know, by saying that we are going to act decisively against terror organizations. This is all very well to say. But will they actually do it? I am very, very skeptical because the terror infrastructure continues to be in intact. In fact, if you recall, just about two days ago, mm -hmm. an organization called the Al Badr Absolutely. was openly recruiting in Deer. You know, they were asking for volunteers Absolutely. to come fight in Kashmir. And that is going on openly under the very noses of the uh, government and the army and the police establishment. So what are we talking about in terms of acting decisively against terror organizations? I am very skeptical that they will actually do so.